Hey friends, so recently I put it out there that um, I have all this paper, not really a lot of paper actually, but it feels like I have a lot of paper sitting around and I want to do something with it. So I'm making tags. As you can see here, I'm using a tag that I already, um, that's already made and I'm just tracing it on this paper. My friend, um, I think it was Becky, Oh, I had just, I just opened her mail and I can't, I'm pretty sure it was from her that she gave me this beautiful tag and I was like, yep, I'm inspired. This is great. I'm going to make some tags now because <laughs> I love what she made. It's either Becky or Tina, but I think it was Becky. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I'm cutting out some tags. I'm just using um, paper from my stash. This is Crepe Paper's Hello Love paper. What I wanted to do was um, I was thinking of um, like doing um, making a bunch of tags for each collection that I have. So when I send off mail that's made um, with that collection, I can send them off some goodies that are some tags that are really cool. So um, I started with three different kinds. I think like about four, three or four of each kind. And I'm just going to start going for it. So the different supplies I have is I have doilies. I have phrase stickers. I have some things from the Hello Love collection from... Heart Day from Crate Paper that I'm using. Um, I don't use a lot of that stuff, but I do use a little bit of it. And then I have enamel dots and I have my stash of just random stuff. So those are the uh, ingredients, I guess you could say, for my tags. So yeah, that one I put a doily on. That XO is from um, Heart Day. That tag chipboard I think is is from some chipboard crepe paper collection. And so I'm kind of doing the same for this one. I'm putting a uh, doily, chipboard, and then I have a free sticker and enamel dot. So yeah, those are like kind of my ingredients for a good, for a good tag is, is one of the, you know, combination of a few things. So, um, also I really wanted to get rid of just that, you know, you have those sticker sheets where it has like five stickers on it, but it's taking up so much room and you just want to use it. You've had it for such a long time. You just haven't found the right project for it. So that was kind of my other idea behind this to just use up my stuff, you know, it gets so frustrating. Um, so kind of when you, when I, you can't see the tag anymore, it's usually when I am punching a hole in it. And then I do use my, um, what's it called? Uh, Croca. Oh, what's that thing called where you it punches the holes and it does the eyelet? Anyway, you know what I'm talking about the We Are Memory Keepers thing. So I'm using that later on. I don't show it because it's just really tedious and boring and takes a long time to do. But um, that's why I use after and then I put string through so you'll be able to see the finished product in the photos. Um, <clears throat> But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I had no plan going forward. I just like started with one like piece of ephemera or chipboard or doily and just kind of went from there. So I'm really excited to continue this with other tags. And um, I also don't show that I on some of them I put an outline around it to kind of, I don't know, frame it, I guess. But I wanted to make each one different. Not everyone have a doily, not everyone outline, not everyone have a phrase sticker, but just kind of have fun with it and use up my stuff and have homemade goodies for my pen pals. There's so much more I want to do. Decorating them was the fast part. Putting the eyelet in them was the tough part. So here's a fun one. You know how you always have these leftover alphas and you just don't know what to do with them because you have so many that don't make a word, you know, like you'll have one vowel left, but what are the chances you're going to make the word whatever, with one, one A or, you know, you know what I mean? So it's a good way to use up your alphas, um, and make a fun, uh, tag. And I've also done this on, um, scrapbook backgrounds and yeah. And I kind of, the key is to have some letters falling off the, the tag or the page and then cutting them. That's kind of the key. All right. So Still going at it. I don't know if I do all of them. Maybe not. Maybe they're not all shown. But here's a picture in the end to show you what it's like. And let me know if you like this video and you want more of them. And yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.